Assalamu alaikum. I have a Dell laptop with a black screen issue. The customer doesn't remember exactly what happened to the laptop. He mentioned that he sent the laptop to a repair shop, but the same problem is still present. As you can see, the charging LED is blinking. It blinks 3 amber then 6 white. You can count them. According to Dell, this blinking code indicates a problem with the BIOS. Here is the laptop model number. It is a Dell Latitude 7310. Let me quickly open the bottom cover. I will try to reset the CMOS by disconnecting the battery. Then we'll see if the laptop will turn on with the adapter or not. No, it doesn't work. Still 3 amber with 6 white. And the fan is spinning at the maximum speed. I have to find the BIOS chip. Let's remove all of this. Here is the motherboard number. And our BIOS chip is this one here. 256 megabits or 32 megabytes. These two chips are not for the main BIOS because their capacity is just 1 megabyte. The thermal paste is very dry. I hope the CPU is okay. Before flashing the BIOS, I have to measure some voltages. There is 20 volts on the current sensing resistor, 13 volts on the main coil, 5 volts on this one, 1 1.2 volts, I think it is for the RAM. Here is around 1.2 volts on both phases of the VCC core. And the VCC GT is missing. This is normal. We have 3.3 volts and 1.05 for the PCH. Pin number 8 of the BIOS chip has 3.3 volts on it. Everything looks fine. So I will proceed with flashing the BIOS. Someone has already melted the plastic of the M2 slot. I'm sure he was trying to flash the BIOS. The RAM of this laptop is on board. I hate this kind of devices. As I always do, I took a clean picture for the BIOS chip and the components around it. I covered the plastic slot with aluminum tape and I applied some rosin flux to help me desolder the chip. I will solder the chip into my WSON8 8x6 adapter. Then we'll double check my solder with the soldering iron. It looks fine. Let's connect the programmer to my laptop. Press on detect. I only have one option. It is suitable for my chip, so I will select it anyway. Then press read IC. When it is finished, I will press on verify IC. Now I can save the file. Let's give it any name. I will open the new file I made. Check these five options and press on right I see. If you want to know how I rebuild the BIOS file, you can check my Dell playlist. There you will find several videos that will help you fix your Dell BIOS. It is done. Let me solder back the chip into the motherboard. It looks fine. Let's assemble the laptop and see what will happen. Oops, the laptop now is not turning on. Really? It was turning on before with a black screen, so what is wrong? Look here, when I press the power button, the charging LED is turning on, then quickly turns off. Is the problem with my BIOS file? I don't think so, because I am sure of the method I used to rebuild that file. Have I made a terrible mistake? Who knows? Let's figure out. I have to disassemble everything again. So I have found the problem after desoldering the BIOS chip. Pin number 3 of the BIOS chip is shorted to the ground. Yes, you can see a bridge here between pins 3 and 4. Now after I solder the chip properly, let's see if the laptop will work or not. Bismillah. There are no blinks on the charging LED. The fan is spinning at the maximum speed. But so far so good. It is normal for a Dell laptop to take like 2 minutes to boot up after flashing the BIOS. 
or even if you disconnect the CMOS battery you will have to wait for a while good the laptop is working you can see the Dell logo there the keyboard is beeping because manufacturing mode is active also the surface tag is empty so I will just insert the surface tag then we'll lock manufacturing mode now the laptop works flawlessly without any issues I hope you learned something useful from this video and I will see you soon inshallah in another one Assalamu alaikum